Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I apologize for my voice. I am losing it, but I still wanted to film today because I have this huge Sephora box in front of me. I have been doing a series of Sephora videos with the Sephora VIB sale, and this is what I actually purchased. I did a video where it was like a shop with me, and I went through my loves list and like added stuff to the cart, and I've made changes since then, added some things, took some things away. So now we are here to dive in and see what I got. Okay, so my birthday is in October, it's October 25th, so I had a birthday gift card from a friend, I had a birthday gift card from work, and then of course the 20% off. There are some things that I feel like maybe are not as exciting, but they're repurchases nonetheless. One I already dug into. I had to purchase a refill for my Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. They now have... It's still in a plastic bottle, but it's refillable, and so you can purchase the refill this way. So I went ahead and purchased the refill. I already poured this into my container, so now I'm going to go ahead and discard this one. Not a super exciting purchase. I also did a repurchase of my Shiseido Facial Cottons. This is what I use with the toner. So I pour the toner onto a little bit of a cotton round or cotton pad. They're super, super soft, very comfortable. They are a little bit on the expensive side if you're thinking about what it is, but I like it because it feels good on my skin. So I'll pour a little bit of the toner on there, rub it all over my face morning and night luxurious so I always try to pick these up I have some in my collection already but I figured if I was gonna get a sale have a sale I was gonna go ahead and purchase this as well a couple other repurchases I did pick up my favorite Monsieur Big mascara from Lancome I love this for volumizing it's two full sizes and I already had one in my collection it was starting to get clumpy I could tell it was going bad so this was two for the price of one I believe or a little bit more than one so I purchased this two full sizes and the other mascara that I purchased was the other one I used after my volumizing mascara I like to go in with the benefit roller lash the once your big will give me some volume and then the roller lash I can go in after that and I can separate any clumpiness so this is a winning combination for me they are expensive I think you can get drugstore mascaras that do the same thing but I I really wanted these back in my collection, so picked them up during a sale. I also went ahead and purchased the Rollerball of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. And the reason why I got the Rollerball is I always purchase Rollerballs when I'm purchasing scents, but I also wanted to pick this up because I had, before I got pregnant with my son, I had the Dossier brand, which was Floriental Almond. They changed it to something else. It's still Floriental, Floriental something, but I tried the Floriental Almond and I really enjoyed it, but I hadn't actually tried the Carolina Herrera. So it smells delicious. You can see it is a little rollerball. It's easy to travel with. And now I am very excited to actually try the Dossier inspired scent in its real form, in its natural form, in its, you know. The Dossier was inspired by Carolina Herrera. So now I'm excited to try this one out. I did also pick up a larger size of the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. I normally was getting these in like the small, $20 sizes that are like at the checkout at Sephora, but my husband uses this also and I use it every day I put it on my arms when I'm like not wearing perfume, but I want to smell good I have the shower gel also, but I didn't need to purchase it. This one is um, How many ounces? Oh the eight fluid ounces and this is the one where when I do need to get another one They have the refill container that I can use to refill this so this is my first time buying the large size I feel like this will actually Last my husband and I some time because we both use it and love it But when I do go to repurchase now, I don't need to purchase another jar I can just get the refill so I'm excited about that then I picked up a few products that were new to me. 
One being this Verb Curl Foaming Gel. My friend Heather Austin has beautiful curly hair and she had been trying this out. She let me know that she loved it. My hair's not super curly. It has a little bit of a wave to it, but my daughter has very curly hair. And she always looks to me and says, Mommy, your hair's straight. I want straight hair. So I've been trying to like bring the curls back out. So Heather really loved this. I decided I wanted to try it out. I don't know if they had a smaller size. I just went in and bought the large one, but I am expecting to like it. So I'm excited to get that. I also finally picked up my Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is in the smaller size. My best friend Smags has raved about this for as long as I've known her. I always use MAC Fix Plus. It's my tried and true, but I've heard Smegs talk about this so much that I decided I wanted to try it as well. It does say you're supposed to shake before use. You can close your eyes and mist it onto your face before applying your moisturizer and at any time of the day. That's interesting. So I asked her if she applied this before makeup, after makeup, like when she used it. She said all the time, before, after, during the day. It does say here that you can spray this on your face before moisturizer, which is probably how I'll try to use it, more like as a skincare. And so I'll tone my face, give this a little spritz, let it dry down, and then try it with my moisturizer. And then if I'm feeling dry throughout the day, go in and use this again. But I have been wanting to try that for so long, and I almost didn't get it, and I saw it, and I was like, why have I not tried this yet? So I also did finally pick up the Rare Beauty Positive Light Highlighter. Positive... <laughs> Here it is. Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter in Mesmerize. This is in like the pinky shade. I feel like I have a lot of champagne shades. I think the champagne shade would have looked really nice on me also. Oh, good gracious. But I feel like I have a lot of those. And I wanted something a little bit different. So that's why I decided to go with the pinkier one. I haven't tried a ton from Rare Beauty, but I know when these came out, a lot of people talked about the highlighters and a lot of people are still talking about them a year later. So I have not actually tried it yet. I haven't dipped into it, but I am excited to try it out. So that's it. I mean, really, this is like a hundred, so almost $200 worth of, worth, worth of stuff here, but I feel like it should be I should have a lot more items for what I purchased, but I'm excited about it. Some repurchases, some new purchases. I'm excited to dig in. I was going to say, if you want, like, a get ready with me, let me know. But really, the only new makeup item would be this highlighter. So, I will film another get ready with me at some point. It just won't be Sephora focused and I will use this highlighter and I will report back and let you guys know but that's it for my haul we're gonna keep this short and sweet because I don't want you to have to continue to listen to this I was going to try and film a third video uh, because I filmed this look here but I think I might just wait so that's gonna do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye